Good morning, everyone. Namaste and welcome back to the Asana Sena Yoga Studio on this glorious, glorious Saturday morning. Let's get started with our AM Hatha class. Let's get our bodies open, up into the world. Let's wake those bodies up here. But first, of course, as it is early, let's always start seated here on our mat. <sighs> Just a little bit of house information. Um, I ch we've changed the schedule to one of our classes. We've updated the time on Thursday evening Shavasana class, which is a yin yoga and or restorative class, depending on the evening. That class has moved from 11 p.m. to 8 p.m. from popular demand. So I'm super glad that you all are enjoying that class and then you're joining me. And I'm glad that you all want to join me live as well. So that class is Thursday nights at 8 p.m. and that is a yin style class. Sometimes we do restorative um, and the difference between the two is yin is going to be holding more poses for a longer period of time. Restorative is the same except you use a lot of props to hold active or a passive um, pose as opposed to an active stretch where you're holding that pose yourself for a long period of time. So without further ado, let's get ourselves situated here on our mats. Crisscross your applesauce. Um, today, you know, don't even worry about adjusting, whichever feels comfortable. We just woke up. Let's be gentle and soft to the body, spreading the flesh of the sits bones out. Let's ground ourselves. Take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, letting your hands rest gently on your knees or in your lap. Let's just ground ourselves here today on this beautiful, glorious Saturday morning. Mm. Just breathing here, letting the air fill into our nose and our lungs, sweeping the cobwebs out of that brain. Maybe you're lucky enough to sit outside feeling that sunshine on your face. Feels good. I'm about to get some sunshine after this. I can't wait. For this moment here, let's set our intentions for this glass. I'm intending and I'll share with you my intentions. That way you don't have to feel any pressure about sharing with us. My intention is to lead you through a wonderful Hatha style yoga class where we will work on some of that lower back, you know, having to sit all week, maybe crunched, maybe you slept a little funny. I know I did last night, but I want to lead you through a relaxing Hatha uh, movement flip pattern where we wake up our bodies, we help our lower backs. We start the day off in the right mood, you know, <laughs> ah, it's just breathing here. Letting ourselves just come to the class. And if you're listening to new music on your side, maybe singing along with it, maybe humming with it, letting it wake up. Feeling good. And I'd like to start class a little differently. Hopefully you've set your intentions as inhale, bringing the hands overhead. Exhale, coming into peace pose. Let's just clap three times. Rubbing our hands together, clearing any of that stagnant energy. Ooh, warming up our hands, our palms together. Let's take that energy and just wash our face with it. I'm going to try not to bump my microphone, but washing our face. <sighs> sweeping out all the bad, opening up. Let's get started. Keeping our hands on the mat here, we're just gonna begin warming up our neck as we always do. Let's start by gently shaking our head no. Let's make this an active no. No to bad days, no to no fun. Let's say no to bummers. <laughs> Slowing our head down, let's start nodding yes. Saying yes to fun today, yes to a beautiful day, yes to experiences, yes to listening to our bodies. All of these things are full of yeses. Excellent. Slowing the head down, let's just start to rotate in a circle. Doesn't matter which way we're going. We're just warming up our neck, having some fun this morning. Let's slow ourselves down, rotate going the opposite direction. Breathing while we're warming up our necks.
Let's slow ourselves down and say no once more. Slowing it back to center. Let's nod our head yes. All right, let's bring ourselves to stillness. Inhale those hands out to a T. Exhale, dropping that right ear to that right shoulder. Let's use our right palm here to bring our head down just a little bit more, dropping our left arm at a 90 degree angle, stretching out our arm here. Excellent. Inhale that head up to center. Let's turn our head to the right, dropping that chin down to the floor into our chest, using that right hand this time to help stretch out that neck. Inhale that head up. And this time let's send our arms back to a T. Exhaling, let's drop that ear over. I like to crack my neck a little bit before I start the next side. Let's drop that left ear to our shoulder using our left hand as a gentle counterweight, dropping that right arm at 45 degree angle. Breathing into that stretch. Inhale that head up. Let's turn our face to the left, this time dropping that chin using our back of our hand here to just help stretch out that neck. Oh, I love the stretch first thing in the morning. I often sleep kind of crunched up like a, like a baby bird, if you will. <laughs> so stretching out the neck is always a good time. Excellent. Inhale, let's bring everything up back to center, dropping the hands. Let's start by rolling those shoulders. It could be hard holding your hands up like this for a few minutes. So start rolling the shoulders out, actively engaging. Just going to fix my hoodie sweatshirt here. <laughs> Let's rotate the shoulders coming to the forward now. rotating either one doing a good job it's going back as well warming up your shoulders any way that you may see fit excellent Let's inhale those hands up all the way up to the sky reaching 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 exhale drop that right arm down your back excuse me Yawning if you see fit, using that left arm to stretch that shoulder out. Let's relax into the shoulder stretch. Feels good. Excellent. Let's inhale the hands. Coming around the back here with that right arm, using our left to grab that palm or that wrist, stretching the right arm you know it's funny from here it looks like i'm wearing my hood but i'm certainly not i just can't see that close that's why i wear my spectrometers <laughs> let's inhale coming out to a t exhale bringing our hands across the chest here stretching out that arm and go ahead and twist to the right with your face and your head if you'd like to extend that stretch feels really good Excellent. Inhale, coming up once more. Let's drop the left arm this time as we exhale, stretching out that left arm. Doing good. Breathing into the stretch. And let's bring those arms out to a T this time, sending that left arm to the back 
Let's grab the wrist, pulling that left wrist, stretching that arm out. Excellent. Let's bring our arms back to a T. Taking a deep inhale, readjusting if necessary. Exhale, let's send our left arm over. Maybe play it facing the left, stretching our arm, giving ourselves a hug. Let's take an inhale and as we release, bring your hands to the mat for just a moment. Let's inhale, clasping our hands together. Exhale, sending those hands up and overhead, stretching out. One last shoulder stretch, maybe dropping back a little bit with the arms. Exhale, release, clasp your hands behind your back and inhale as we drop our heads down here, coming into that forward fold. Excellent. Let's inhale, bringing ourselves back up to seated here, releasing the arms. And let's meet at the top of the mat. Ah, all right. Let's wake up the body here. Let's start by standing on the mat. And today we're not going to start with alignment just yet. We're not going to get into our sun styles. We're going to continue waking up the rest of our joints. So Standing here, making sure your knees are not locked, keeping ourselves in a neutral position. Let's just rock back and forth slowly. Just lift your feet, lift your heels. You don't have to do it to breath. We're just waking up our ankles, excuse me, and our calves. Feeling good, it's gentle. And what you do want to make sure while we're doing this, you want to keep your shoulders up and back. Really concentrate in sending your pelvis into a neutral tilt. Really concentrate in keeping your knees soft. Concentrate on keeping your head straight forward, keeping that chin parallel to the mat, keeping your ears older our shoulders. Let's really work on that. Sometimes we often forget that we're standing hunched or we're standing ducked. And it's not really a comfortable position for our bodies, especially in our lower back region. Just wanna keep everything nice and moving. Just keep warming up those ankles. Excellent, let's do one more. Up, up, bringing ourselves to stillness. Keeping our feet about hip width apart in a nice easy stance, relaxed. Let's inhale our knee up, keeping that parallel to the floor. Let's just begin to rotate the ankle. And if you're having a little bit of trouble with balance, grab your opposite ear, send your hand out to the side. This really helps. It'll help counterbalance, yeah. And this is a nice way to gently wake up the body, to gently work on the balance that we need during the day. If you'd like a balance challenge, keep your hands straight down or on your hips, keeping that leg up, rotating that ankle. Slowing it down, let's rotate the other direction. <laughs> Sometimes the other direction throws the balance and it's all right. Rotating the ankle, very good. Breathing, breathing, breathing. And let's drop that foot right back to the mat. And let's inhale, lifting the other. Rotate one direction, does not matter which way, your foot will naturally go into one direction. Just warming up the ankle. Hmm. You can even keep your hands up if you'd like to a twisted rooted tree. We will get to that point eventually. Keeping your hands down if you wish. Very good. Let's rotate the other direction. Ooh. If you hear any cracking, it's not necessarily always your joints. It could be just your fascia. Fascia is like a like a thin web of, of uh, tissue that keeps our bodies together. It's almost like if you were to look at the supermarket and you see those pairs, those Asian pairs with that, that kind of white styrofoam wrapping around it, same thing, except it's our body. And a lot of times that cracking is just waking up the fascia. Excellent, let's place that foot back down on the mat. Ooh, shake out the legs. Ooh, 
All right. Let's inhale, standing here, and exhaling our hands. We're coming into a Tadasana, to our mountain pose. Let's inhale, shifting our weight to the left side. Let's bring our right knee up once more. This time, let's give a hold here. We're going to inhale, open up that leg out as we exhale, and just open that leg, kind of like a door. Now, when we do it, we don't want to turn our whole body around. You see how I'm turning? You see how I'm torquing at the knee there? You don't want to do that. You just want to gently open just this hip. Keep everything else on the left side facing forward. So we're just moving the hip. Ah, feels nice, doesn't it? How often do we do this? I know I don't do it very often, but it feels good to do this right, right first thing in the morning here. <laughs> Excellent. Slowing down. Let's see if we can do little circles here with our knee. Just opening up. Let's see if we can go the other direction. Challenging our balance today. Also helping out that lower knee, that lower back. Exhale, placing that foot back on the mat. Not quite done with our balance on this side. Let's shift our weight back to the left again. This time, let's bend our leg the other way. See if we can grab our ankle here. Starting to just gently, and I'll see, I'll show you what I look like from the side here. If you just want to open up that leg, like we're using it, but make sure we're not locking out this other knee. You don't want to lock your leg out. You want to keep that nice and subtle. And if you like, you can even squat down a little bit. If you grew up in the 90s like I did, you know this is a dance. If you want to get into that, get into that, but it's a little early for me. <laughs> Great, let's exhale, sending that down. Ooh. Let's take a moment to feel the difference between legs. This one, I guarantee you, is feeling like it's really ready to run down the street. This one, on the other hand, maybe wants to sit back down or get back into bed. But feeling that energetic movement, warming up the body, it feels really good. Let's do the same thing for the other side. So we've already spun our ankles out. We're just going to bring our knee up and just gently open and close. No need to turn the whole body. We're just turning the knee, the hip. Doing good. Maybe rotating that knee. Doing good. Opening up that knee. Feeling it, feeling it. Excellent. Drop that leg once down, once more. Readjusting as necessary. Let's bend that knee, bringing that ankle to the left hand. And we're just going to open up, bending at the hip there. Maybe coming into a little bit of a 90s dance. Look up heavy D in the boys. I'm pretty sure some of them did that. That's heavy, H-E-A-V-Y, capital D, and the boys. I think boys is spelled with a Z. Highly recommend. Dancing, lots of dancing. Excellent. Slowing down. Let's replace our foot back down to the mat here. Now we're hip width apart. Let's heel toe those feet out just a little bit. So we're kind of in a wide-legged stance here. And we're just going to do a little bit of active stretching to wake up the rest of our lower body. So we're just going to back and forth. Doing good. Ooh, stretch. And as we keep going here, see if you can get a little bit bigger, bending that knee a little bit more, opening up those hips just a little bit. Feeling in it here. Ah. Not doing anything too fast, not locking out the knee as we're stretching, just waking up the body. You can even turn your feet out. 45 degree angles here. Makes it a little easy, kind of bringing it around, a little bit of a around the world. Excellent. Slowing it down, coming back to the middle here. Let's just bend a little bit. We're gonna do ups and downs. Bending or good mornings. If you like to put your hands on the back of your head, just gently send your hips out as you bend at the hips. We're just opening up, finding a new way to open up our the back of our legs here. 
see if you can get a little bit further down with each bend. Uh, and our last one, let's inhale, sending the hands all the way up to the sky. Let's exhale, coming forward. Fingertips on mat. Find your fingertips, find your, your big toes. Wrap those fingertips, your two piece fingers around your fingertips here. Sending your toes out on an angle. Let's exhale, coming down into a malasana. Inhale, coming up to a forward fold and adjust your feet as necessary here. We're just gonna do a couple of active malasanas. Opening up the bottom of our body here. Helping our lower back to be honest because a lot of times our lower back kind of hurts because we've been in one position or sitting in a position that isn't quite natural for us. As humans, we are meant to stretch. Excellent. Oh, this feels really nice. Wonderful. Let's do one more inhale, sending the hips up to the sky. Exhale, dropping our bottom. Let's bring our hands to the mat. And just keep continue with that active movement here opening up our legs this opens up the ankles this wakes up the knees wakes up the hips the bottom the back chest arms fingertips everything wonderful let's slow ourselves down here and let's find ourselves bringing our knees to the mat we're going to come into tabletop and for tabletop Keep your knees hip width apart, just as you would with any other yoga class. You can either keep your toes bent, if you like the stretch, the active feeling in the feet, or you can unbend them, keeping them flat on the mat. But we just wanna make sure our elbows are located over our wrist, and all of this is located underneath our shoulder. Keeping the hands nice and spread, grip the mat like that. So we're good and firm, no one can push us over. Tornado couldn't even get us. Now from here, let's gently, Provide that gaze a little bit forward. Let's, as we take an inhale through the nose, let's drop our hips, drop our belly, letting our back completely arch inward, feeling that gentle stretch, dropping the belly, bringing the head back, coming into cow. Breathe into that pose. It feels really good. Mm. Maybe rotate those hips a little bit. Shake in the bottom, as they say. Shake a tail feather. Let's take our last inhale. And as we begin to deeply exhale, let's start to turn that pelvis inward, arching that back, pushing out with our arms, keeping our shoulders down from our ears, exhaling, holding this pose, coming into cat. <sighs> this is a nice one. I really like to push and imagine I see myself separating each and every vertebra as I push into this pose helping with the upper shoulders, the lower back, the middle of the back that doesn't get very stretched very often, and my core. Excellent, let's take our last exhale in this pose. Taking an inhale, let's slowly reverse, coming into cow, dropping that belly, letting your core muscles relax, arching your head back, breathing into the pose. Turn that down just a little bit here. Let's inhale, scooping that hip once more, coming into that cat. Exhaling as we push all of our vertebrae out, separating everything, allowing space and the light to come in between the cracks. Let's take one more breath. Let's curl our toes on our next inhale. And with that last exhale, exhale, sending those hips up into the sky, coming into our downward dog. Great. From here, let's walk out those feet, bending the knees, allowing the calves to further awaken, bending that energy to the ground through the feet. 
Excellent. Let's bring ourselves to stillness, holding our core muscles tight. Let's inhale that right foot all the way up into the air, keeping our hips squared. Exhale, placing that foot in between the mat. Let's inhale, coming up, drop down into our crescent pose. Ooh. Let's hold here for just a moment as we breathe. Doing a good job. Let's inhale as we cartwheel those hands back down to the mat, placing them flat. Let's take a step back with that right foot. Exhale, coming down into our, our plank. Inhale, coming into our upward dog. Excellent. Curling those toes. Let's exhale, sending ourselves back up to the sky, the downward dog. Bending those hips, working through. Let's inhale the foot up to the sky, keeping those hips square. This time the left foot's in the sky. Let's take an exhale as we place our foot down on the mat. Inhale, coming up. Whoop. Exhaling, crescent pose. Excellent. Bouncing here if you had some good vams on. <laughs> Let's inhale, cartwheeling those hands down, straightening that leg up here. Taking a step back, let's exhale back into our our, our our plank pose. Jeez. Inhale, coming up into our upper dog. It's morning everywhere. <laughs> let's exhale, sending those hips up into the sky. And let's hop or walk our feet up to the top of the mat once more. Inhale, coming halfway. Exhale, hands on the mat. Inhale, coming all the way up. <sighs> hands down in the prayer pose. Like that sneaky way we did a sun cell? Awesome, I love, I love that. I like to warm up the body, especially if it's first thing in the morning and then hit the sun salutations. Although hitting the sun cells right away, no problem with that. <laughs> Anything that makes up the body, yeah? All right, let's start once more. Inhale the hands up to the sky. Let's exhale, swan diving forward. Inhale, halfway flat back. Exhale, bring those hands down to the mat. Let's take a step back, coming into our plank. Exhale, inhale. Upward dog. Let's hold here for a moment, allowing that lower back to kind of do its thing. All right. Inhale, curling those toes, sending our hips up into the sky, coming into our downward dog. Let's walk out those feet once more. Let's inhale the foot up into the sky, keeping the hips square. Exhale as we place that down on the mat. Let's drop that foot on an angle, coming up, exhaling straight out into a warrior two. Make sure your knees don't track over your toes. We're just going to hold here for a moment. Dance it out if you got some music. <laughs> I'm listening to a little bit of Talking Hands, which is really not a, a lot of music you can dance to, but this one is pretty good. Let's inhale, cartwheeling those hands down. Step our foot back. Exhale and planking. Inhale into that up dog. Staying on the toes. Let's curl those feet up as we exhale, coming into our down dog. This time, repeat with a lift. Left leg up into the air. Exhale, foot on the mat. I'm going to turn around so you can see me better. Let's inhale, dropping that right foot, coming into a warrior two. So let me see if I can tell you what song this is. This is called Board Under Punches by the Talking Heads. The heat goes on. It's a good song. You should look into it later if you can't hear it. <laughs> Cartwheeling those hands down into the mat. Let's take a step back into our plank as we exhale. Inhale, coming up into our upward dog. Let's bend those hips, exhaling, sending the hips up into the sky, into our downward dog. Let's hop or jump the feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway, exhale, all the way down. Inhale, bringing the hands up all the way as we exhale into prayer pose. Whew. Feeling good. Now that we've warmed up our whole body, moved our joints around, let's work on that lower back. Find yourself gracefully floating down to the mat. Once more here. We're going to come into here, our kneeling. Let's just come into kneeling for a moment here. Just breathing it out. We're going to circle the hips, starting from the right to the left, really working on just moving the hips around. Now you're probably asking, this is a lower back, back flow. For reasons unknown to me, Sana, why are we not doing anything with our lower back but we seem to be doing a lot with our hips? Here's your answer. A lot of times, the 
feeling you have in your lower back is because you have tight hips, tight piriformis, tight in this region. If you loosen that up, you release a little bit of tension occasionally from the lower back. So we're really, really pushing this flow to make sure we have nice, supple hips when we're done. So you can get a little bit of relief from your back pain. Excellent. Slowing it down. Let's go the opposite direction. And I want you to keep your hands on your hips here because I want you to feel, because you can feel right here. I'll come to the side. You can feel your joints in your hip moving around and you can feel everything easing. Feels really good. Keep it going here. Excellent. Slow ourselves down. I'm going to come to the side so you can see me slowing everything down. Very good. From here, let's inhale the hands up to the sky. Let's exhale, sitting our feet down on our, our, our bottom down on our feet here. Let's keep our hands to the side, maybe palms down. And as we exhale, let's breathe, bringing ourselves forward, tilting ourselves to the mat as we bring our bottoms up in the air, coming into our rabbit pose. Now, if you are flexible or if it's in your practice, you can keep your palms down or you can put the tops of your hands down, coming down to the mat here. And now I'm just gonna turn my head away from you because it's a little hard with the speaker on the one side to keep myself flat down here. But let's hold ourselves into this rabbit pose. Hmm. It's holding here for three more breaths. And then let's take one more inhale. And with an exhale, let's bring our arms underneath our chest, pushing ourselves, coming up into our tabletop pose once more. Ah, so we're here, feeling good. Let's begin to inhale. Let's take our right hand, sliding it underneath the left. Sending it all the way over. Let's drop our ear down, coming in to thread the needle on the right here. And let's breathe here for three breaths. And really breathe into that stretch. Last breath. Fully releasing it with the next inhale, coming up to our tabletop. Let's breathe into the nose, exhale, sending that right arm, dropping down, breathing into this pose for three breaths. Let's take our next inhale bringing ourselves back up here. Let's walk those hands a little bit out further, just a bit out in front of us. And we're gonna exhale, coming into a child's pose, yogi's choice. I'm gonna do a wide leg child's pose, keeping our arms actively engaged by keeping those fingertips on the mat. Let's pull from the lower back here. As we exhale, coming to that child's pose, feeling our arms stretching out from our shoulders feeling the curve of our lower back, our bottoms curving our lower back to stretch out that feeling there. Let's hold here for three more breaths. Two more breaths, breathing into that lower back, really letting your chest sink. And after our last breath, let's walk our hands over to the right, twisting ourselves, pulling that side left here, coming into an extended child's pose to the right. Let's breathe here, holding for three breaths. And after that last breath, let's inhale. 
slowly walk our hands over to the left. Really stretching, coming out from that hip there. Uh, stretching on the right side. Let's breathe here for three breaths. Take one more inhale, walking ourselves into the center here. Let's exhale, bringing ourselves up into tabletop once more, returning our knees to where they were in this tabletop pose. Let's take an inhale as we straighten out our left leg, just straighten it out behind you, no need to lift. We're just gonna straighten, pushing a little bit back into that left leg. Let's inhale that right arm up. And as we exhale, let's turn back to the left here, stretching out. This will stretch your shoulders here and your upper back. Bring that right hand back. Let's bring that left leg back. Let's inhale the right leg out this time, stretching out the right leg. Just the whole leg stretch. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, coming back before here, just stretching out a little bit in that shoulder. Just a nice little counter stretch here. Let's bring that hand back to the front here. That knee back. Let's inhale, curling those toes. And with an exhale, let's lift our hips up into the sky and coming into that downward dog once more. If you like, go ahead and spread those legs out. Let's get our legs as wide as our mat, bending the knees just a little bit so we can send our head and chest down to the ground a little bit more. Now, when you're in this pose, I really want you to push yourself, push your hands into the earth. As you push, you find yourself stretching a little bit more, bending a little bit more, especially your, uh, your belly will come closer to your thighs, which will actually end up helping stretch out that lower back. Let's breathe here for four more breaths. Maybe stretching out those legs, walking out those heels. Take one more breath in this pose, inhaling. And with an exhale, let's turn, grabbing that leg, coming into a twisted down dog. This is our right arm grabbing our left leg. It would help if I gave you directions. Breathing here. Two more breaths. And with an inhale, let's bring that hand right back. Exhale and fixing your legs if we need to. Rewalking out. Let's bring ourselves to stillness here. Inhale, let's lift the left arm, bringing it to the right calf. Breathing here. Holding. Breathing. Two more breaths. Let's inhale, placing the hands back on the mat here. Let's walk our feet to our hands. We're coming into this halfway forward, or this forward fold here. If it's within your practice, let's go ahead and grab those elbows here and allow ourselves to hang, hanging from the lower back, feeling your back stretch. Like you don't wanna just hang here from the middle. Inhale, inhale to release your back, and you wanna feel the stretch coming from here. I'm gonna fix my pants a little bit. And if holding this is not within your practice, you can use a table, a block, open up your feet just a little bit, helping that stretch. We're just gonna hold here for a few moments. You can shift your weight to the right and to the left as well. Once more, using our piriformis to stretch out our body. Relaxing our head if we can. You can even, like I said, holding yourself in a rag doll is nice. Just relax here. Moving as you see fit. Excellent. 
And now tell everyone if you're bound at the elbows, go ahead and release your hands down to the mat here, fingertip wise. Let's take a deep, deep breath here. And as we exhale, let's begin to slowly heel toe those legs apart, coming into a wide forward fold once more. <sighs> Without locking our knees, relaxing, see if we can relax our hands down to the mat. Let's take an inhale, slowly walk those hands over to the right foot. Say hello, hello right foot. Keeping ourselves bent at the waist, not from the back. Letting the, the top half of our body just hang. Let's take another inhale. Walk those hands over to the left side. Hey, left foot. Bending from the hip. <laughs> Breathing into that pose. Let's walk ourselves back to the middle here. And if it's possible, or as far as you can, walk your hands back in between the legs here, pulling ourselves a little bit further underneath. Now I know there's some of you out of there, out there watching that can pull yourselves completely flat. My sister is one of those. My younger sister is amazing. She has such wonderful hip flexibility and has had it forever. Please go ahead and fold yourself up flat if you can. That is my goal. If you can see, I'm not very far from it. Well, I'm pretty far from it, but <laughs> I like to tell myself I'm not. So we're just waking up, stretching out those back hamstrings there. Sometimes having tight hamstrings would definitely impact that back because we are compensating down here. Excellent. <laughs> oh, a little levity of the day. Whew. Let's release that pose, coming back forward a little bit here. Let's take our left hand, placing it firmly on the mat in front of us, right in front of our face. Inhale, it's twisting up to the sky as we hold ourselves up to the sunlight, waking our, our bodies up. Mm -hmm. Inhale, replace the left hand with the right. Exhaling, twisting our left hand up into the sky. It's a little morning. Morning singing for you. Excellent. Let's bring that hand back on the mat. From here, let's bring our hands to our knees. Inhale and coming up a little bit halfway here. You can see my face. We're just going to bend our knees a little bit, turning them outward like our feet. Kind of coming into this Johnny Bench position here. Let's drop our left shoulder, twisting, coming into our goddess twists. Breathing as we send our face up into the sky, stretching at the top of our back this time, stretching at the lower back. Try not to keep yourself hunched in. You want to bend at the waist. Inhale, coming back here. Let's exhale, dropping our elbows, coming into that goddess twist. Excellent. Let's inhale, coming back to center. Sending our hips up to the sky. Let's heel toe our feet back together so that we're in a forward fold. And I'm coming around for the benefit here. Placing our hands on the mat. Let's come into our tabletop. Once more. And from here, let's drop our hips down to the mat. Ah. From here, let's come up. If you have a block or a pillow, you can slide that under here. We're just going to hold here in a cobra pose for a moment. We did stretch our back the other way a couple minutes. Let's stretch it this way, just to counteract the stretch. Breathing into the stretch. <sighs> Breathing here. And if you're using a block or a pillow, let's remove that. Taking an inhale, let's bring those hands in front of us, palm over palm, exhaling, dropping our forehead to sit on our hands as we come into our crocodile pose. And from here, let's curl those toes up because I know you're gonna get really comfortable curling the toes. Let's keep our legs active, keeping them stretched and engaged as if we are pushing ourselves up. We're gonna actually end up counter stretching that lower back there. You can feel the stretch coming from your lower back. Send your pelvis into the mat. 
It's almost as if uh, you want to keep your back straight, your back and your legs straight, keeping everything active because this is a very active stretch. It doesn't look active. It looks passive, but we are actively stretching here, flattening that lower back, flattening out our whole back, breathing in. Also, remember, keep your shoulders down from your ears. This is a very good one to punch into. You just want to keep your shoulders out, actively stretching into our lower back here. Excellent. Let's inhale as we release this pose. Let's push ourselves back into our child's pose, keeping our knees together, exhaling to our child's pose, grabbing our feet. If it's within our, pro our, our practice here, stretching out, letting that lower back separate each vertebrae one at a time, keeping our body engaged. Just remember, this is a wonderfully relaxing pose, but we do want to keep sure that we're actively holding that body so we're not um, using this time to just kind of let ourselves hang loosey-goosey. We want to really make sure we're actively stretching here. And this time, you'll feel your bottom start to drop a little bit more as it gets closer and closer to your heels, which is excellent. Let's inhale, pulling ourselves tighter in this pose. Exhale, releasing. Let's bring ourselves up here, coming into kneeling. Let me go ahead and fix my headset here. <laughs> and we're here in hero's pose. Let's bring ourselves once more up to our knees, doing one last lower back stretch. I'm going to turn to the side for your benefit. We're going to come into a Utraskana, oh, camel pose. <laughs> Some days I can say it in Sanskrit, other days I can't. You can, as we take an inhale, let's bring our hands to the back, exhaling, gently pushing our pelvis and hips forward as we drop our head. If you'd like to further your practice along, you may remove your hands, send them straight down. And if you'd even more like to move it along, you can just drop yourselves back all the way, grabbing your ankles, breathing into that camel pose. Let's take one last big breath. Exhaling. Let's bring ourselves back up here, sitting on our feet. Take your time to find yourself here in this pose. It really just depends on which camel pose you're coming out of. Also, it's nice to hold here, and this hero pose is a good counter stretch. <sighs> Excellent. Let's bring our bottoms to the mat. Legs straight out in front of us. Inhale the hands up. Let's exhale, grabbing our ankles or grabbing our toes keeping our feet flexed. We're just going to pull ourselves, bending at the waist, coming into that uh, forward fold here. And if you need to, go ahead and pop those knees up. Go I can never be a woman. And let's inhale, sending our arms and ourselves back up to seated. Exhale, dropping those hands down on the mat next to you. Or next to you. Let's bring our knees to bending. Let's take a deep inhale, sending the arms out as we one by one slowly lower ourselves down. Just letting each vertebrae slowly go down. Oh my goodness, that feels great. <laughs> Adjusting as necessary, coming down to fully laying on the mat here. Let's bring, hmm, how do I want to do this? Well, let's bring both of our legs up into the sky and let's exhale, turning our legs, stagging them as we drop them coming into the left. Cat pulling tail. Let's see if you can grab that right foot behind us here, stretching out our legs. <laughs> so many different lying leg stretches to try from, honestly. Sometimes as a yoga instructor, you have it written down. You want it to go one way and other ways. Other times it goes different. That's all. Excellent. Let's bring our knees back up to the sky once more. Let's exhale, dropping those knees to the side. Cat pulling tail. Go ahead and grab that left ankle if you can, if it's in your practice. If not, this 
Stag legs is perfectly good. This is a wonderful pose for that lower back. It feels really good. Excellent, let's inhale ourselves back up this time. Let's send our knees to our chest and grabbing either the outside feet of your feet or using our peace fingers to grab our toes. So let's exhale as we bring our feet up into the sky, coming into happy baby. Really allow yourself to be a truly happy baby. I don't know if you've watched babies so far. Google it, look it up on Instagram, on YouTube, but they're adorably cute, letting their legs go everywhere. So let's do that too. If you got music on, let it play. Just dancing along to the music if you have any playing. Allowing that back to stretch out. Ooh. Guess I'm a little tired too. <laughs> Excellent. Let's take a deep breath, releasing that pose. Let's bring our knees and our head up into our chest. Cannonball pose. Let's exhale, sending our arms and legs out, sweeping them arms down, coming to our sides, letting everything drop as we get into our shavasana. So, yay, we're done with class. Wonderful. Let's find ourselves in a more comfortable, comfortable Shavasana position. It may be laying down for you. It may be seated, whatever works for you. We're just going to rest here, taking a deep breath in through your nose, holding it for just a moment. And as we exhale, flutter those eyes shut, Woo. allowing our bodies to rest today after we moved it through that wonderful awakening flow. Pat yourselves on the shoulder here on the back. You guys did great today. Let's gently rest into our Shavasana.
And before we come out of our Shavasana today, I would love to read from you from the Daily Stoic. We've been examining the Stoics this couple of uh, this month, so let's keep a read here from the Daily Stoic. And today's reading is about don't tell yourself stories. It reads, in public, avoid talking often and excessively about your accomplishments and dangers, or however much you enjoy recounting your dangers. It's not so pleasant for others to hear about your affairs. Appetitious. Modern philosopher Nassim Taleb has warned of the narrative warned of the narrative fallacy, the tendency to assemble an unrelated events of the past into stories. These stories, however gratifying to create, are inherently misleading. They lead to a sense of cohesion and certainty that isn't real. If that's too heady, remember that Epitetius, as, as Epitetius points out, there is another reason not to tell stories about your past. It's boring, annoying, and self-absorbed. It might make you feel good to dominate the conversation and make it all about you. But how do you think it is for everyone else? Do you think people are really enjoying the highlights of your high school football days? Is this really the time for another exaggerated tale of your sexual prowess? Try your best not to create this fantasy bubble. Live in what's real. Listen and connect with people. Don't perform for them. Well, excellent food for thought. And with that, I invite you to bring movement into your body by wiggling those toes and those fingers rolling your shoulders and your legs. Let's see ourselves rolling to one side of the body as we gently nestle ourselves into the crook of our neck. Inhale, coming, seeing yourselves up into seated. Let's bring those hands overhead. And as we exhale, flutter our eyes open, coming into the peace pose. Thank you everyone for joining me today in our AM Hatha yoga class. Tonight, I today, excuse me, I hope we opened up that lower back and set you on a path for success for the day. Because honestly, it's a beautiful day outside, whether it's snowing, raining, or sunny. It's always a beautiful day. And with that, I like to send you off by saying, be the light that you wish to see in the world. See the light that you wish to see in the world, because it definitely is there. Thank you for joining me on this Saturday morning. I hope to see you next Saturday at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, right here in the Asana Sena Yoga Studio for Hatha Yoga. I'll send you all saying, Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Have a great day, everyone. I will see you all soon. <laughs>